Into the right wing circle now. Goes Peke, backs off, gave it to Ernie. Centering attempt blocked. It's loose in front. Oh, great oh. save. <laughs> Jared Coro, point blank on Vermeen. Down to six minutes remaining in a scoreless first period. Puck shot in. Renouf took machine down. Meanwhile, Coro loses the puck in front of an empty net. Gord scores. And just let the thing go. And the crunch tank advantage of a cough up behind the net by Jared Coro. And at 14.09 of the opening period, they take a one to nothing lead. Yeah. Steve Kearney looking after the duties at our ESPN Studios flagship station for Griffin's Hockey during this postseason. We are back again live inside Van Andel Arena where the play is underway and the Griffins have the puck. Here's Ford to quick score! 18 seconds into the second period and the Grand Rapids Griffins finally quit on the power play to end an over 18 drop. We're deadlocked in one. Held in by Syracuse. They've had a good response to that Griffins goal. Now look out in front, they score. The initial shot stopped by Coro and pouncing on the puck, Tayermina pops it in and Syracuse is back on top at two to one. Power play. Well, now it's about time Grand Rapids. Uh oh, now they're going to steal the puck and score! Mitch Callahan and another giveaway. This time by the Syracuse goaltender. And Grand Rapids has tied up the game on a gift with eight ten second period. Here's Russo racing back as the power play is over. Look out. Bornaval out of the box. Numbers for the crunch. Right circle. The shot. The save and the rebound. Blocked Ooh. by Nathan Page is down hurt. But now Tayermin has got the puck in front of shot. That's knocked away. Another attempt and they score. And Syracuse has the lead again. And up the middle. Bertuzzi tied up but Nosek will pick it up for Firk on the right wing. Back to Nosek. Into the right wing circle. Able oh. to make it by Dodson. Firk's got the puck. In front, score! Tyler Bertuzzi is tied! What a pass by Marty Firk and we're 3-3 with 16 10 to go! And now they're all fired up about the, the ride the octopus is going to get back. Well, that's a good size one too. Listen to this place. Hickett's got it back in front. Oh, what a save oh. by McKenna. Oh, my goodness, what a save. Three times the crunch of lead. All three times the Griffins came back to tie. Now look out, and the puck right in front of the net. Oh. What a chance oh. for Syracuse. It'll be an icing this call. This place is going to light right up. Listen to this. Griffins winning a draw. Flash off, gives it to Furk. He'll tee up and fire. Score! Marty Furk! This place is absolutely delirious. It is 4-3 Grand Rapids with 7-19 remaining. Well, Marty Firk was not far inside the blue line, but boy, he just wound up and let that baby go. And the big shot we talked about so many times, it does great things. Now Conacher right back in, left side with a pass to begin behind the net. Time again with a centering feed. They oh. poke away, and Burrow's <laughs> got it covered. And that will stop the play with 2.45 remaining in regulation time. On it. And we're down to 11 seconds to go. Here's Bornaval across the line. Lynch trying to cut in. Loose in front. Oh, big save, Coro. Three seconds to go. Puck three behind the net. We are done. And put 17 seasons to claim their first hockey title. And for the first time in Grand Rapids, 67 years after the dawn of professional hockey in this season, from the Rockets in 1950 to the Owls of the late 70s, and now for the last 21 years, the Grand Rapids Griffins, finally a chance for the city of Grand Rapids to celebrate. They are doing so now, and in a few short moments, for the first time ever, we will hoist a cup right here on the ice at Van Andel Arena. What a scene right now in downtown GR. Nathan Page, come forward and accept the Calder Cup trophy. Boy, how awesome is this? Posing with Dave Andrews.
you're going to hear a gigantic roar. Right about now. There it is. Meet the paint with the cup hoisted high above his head, hands it off to Matt Ford.